My name is Ashish Rangnekar. I am the CEO and co-founder of Bench Prep. We are in the business to enable education and training companies transform or digitally transform their learning product portfolio. We see a lot of content delivery models in place today. Here is a lot of content, here are a lot of videos, here are a lot of courses, more and more content thrown at the learner. We are taking the world away from this content delivery model into the world of scalable learning experiences. Let's talk about a few numbers first. We are based in Chicago, 70 employees. Through our customers, we have served more than 4 million learners achieve academic and professional success. From a revenue growth perspective, we have grown 3x in the last three years, and we have support from some phenomenal venture cap in investors um, who have invested a total of $28.7 million. We recently closed a $20 million round co-led by Owl Ventures and Jump Capital. Now, before we jump into you know, who we are, what we do, what our products are, who our customers are, I want to take a step back and talk about three guiding principles that are core to our thesis. First is the realization that lifelong learning or continuous professional learning is not just a buzzword anymore, but it's an economic reality. 63% of all professionals have done some kind of professional learning activity and are considered professional learners today. One out of every professional in US has to be licensed to show up to work. They need either an occupational license, some kind of professional certifications to be able to do their job. Right? And the, the idea of continuous learning is not specific to any particular segment, but it's actually pretty universal. Second, right, competency-based credentials, not knowledge, but competency-based credentials are and would remain the currency in the labor market. Right? You look at ROI on some of those things, it's mind-boggling. Right? You get a professional certification or a license, and the average increase in salary is phenomenal. Right? You can actually go down the list of fields and you can see the earning um, premium that you get once you get some of these competency-based credentials. And it's not just limited to specific segments. Right? I mean, we think of healthcare as very much driven by competency-based um, credentials. But you look at Salesforce that is driving this behavior so that they can figure out the competencies for professionals who can use Salesforce better. Um, GM has a credentialing program. Medtronic has uh, competency-based credentials. So it's pretty universally recognized currency. Third, and this is the most interesting one, we are seeing that learning experience is becoming the key differentiator. If you look at who the learner is today, the modern learner is untethered. They are on the move, on the go all the time. They are overwhelmed and distracted. They get too many Slack messages, too many emails, too many text messages. They are impatient. They don't have the capacity to watch a video any longer than, I don't know, like five minutes or 12 minutes or something like that. And because of that, expectations around online learning have changed dramatically. The first wave of learning management systems, or learning platform in general, were focused on the M in the LMS, which is the management. Today, actual learning is happening online, and that is a very different paradigm that today's education and training companies have not really adapted to. And that's where we come in. Right? So we are helping these education and training companies uh, bridge the gap between what is expected and the, uh, what, what they're delivering and the concept of digital literacy. We are making it insanely easy for them to transform and create online learning programs, but at the same time making it insanely easy for them to, uh, for the consumers to consume these. 
How do we do that? We have an enterprise SaaS learning platform, fully white label, customizable, personalized, gamified, omni-channel. And equally importantly, we provide managed services. Because when we go in, we want to make sure that we are enabling our customer through this transition. We are lucky enough to have um, some of the best and biggest um, learning platform companies out there. ACT is a customer. CFA Institute is a customer. Am I done with time? OK. Was, oh, it was only five minutes? Oh, wow. I thought 10 minutes. I was pacing well. Um, but OK, these are our customers. Um, I think we are still early in this transition. We are in the second inning of a nine-inning game, so pretty excited about uh, what's in the future. Thank you.